And you said you're using frequency medicine as well. Explain that for our audience here. From a quantum physics perspective, everything is frequencies. You know, from a quantum physics perspective, even matter down to its smallest particle is simply energy that's vibrating at a specific frequency. Well, we know that everything, all our cells, all our organs, all our tissues are vibrating at different frequencies and cancer vibrates at a different frequency too. So one of the ways that you can help a person with cancer, because cancer is your own cells, and I mentioned that one of the difficult things in trying to naturally or even in the standards of care realm to kill a growing cancer is that you're when you try to stimulate the immune system to attack a growing cancer, you're 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 trying to kill self tissue. It cancer is your self tissue, though it's abnormally replicating, it's still self tissue. So your T cells and natural killer cells, which are mainly responsible to kill cancer, um, your body has a mechanism to turn off their attack on itself. Otherwise, you would destroy yourself and you, you know be dead when you get two weeks old. So um, there is a receptor on T cells that your cells that attach to and turn the T cells response off. Um, Now, the more the T cells are taking a look at a cancer, the better chance they will override that receptor and kill the cancer. Um, So the greater that you can, greater uh, ways that you can stimulate you know, T cell production, the better chance you have at killing cancer. Therefore, like a nutritional approach of taking a bunch of specific herbs and nutrients that are going to build a person's immune system are highly beneficial to help a person kill cancer. But using frequency medicine can add another level of approach because if you can hit the cancer at its own frequency, at the very least, you're going to cause that cancer to vibrate. And when you're causing that cancer to vibrate, you're going to elicit a immune response to take a look at it again. Remember, I said the more times that you could get your immune system to look at that cancer and go, boy, maybe we should do something about that, the better chance you're going to have of it overriding that T cell receptor response in it to kill the cancer. So that's the idea with frequency technology, with otherwise known as rife technology. You're hitting the cancer at its own frequency so that your immune system could recognize it as an enemy instead of as self-tissue. So the you know the hundreds of times it's taking a look at it, it will now start destroying it. Mm. So you do need to couple it with nutritional things to build the immune system. You need to couple it with um, emotional things that you're going to deal with, you know, stimulating a parasympathetic response and to help build, um, you know, health in the body. You need to couple it with with um, addressing causes and detoxifying the body and cleaning out the milieu around the cancer so the immune system can actually physically get at it. Uh, but uh, to to us, that's been proven to be the best results. Yeah, and and how does Rife you know, a lot of things kind of get lumped together uh, when it comes to frequency medicine and light, you know, and, and different imper- different rays of even on the UV spectrum. A lot of times they get lumped together and uh, most people see it as a little bit esoteric. So how does Rife differentiate from PEMF and from infrared? So infrared is not light therapy. It's below the red spectrum, you can't see infrared. So people will, no, that's not right. I have an infrared light and I can see a red light. Well, if it's true infrared, you can't see it. So there's yeah, a lot of times the red light comes with the infrared, right? So you're that's getting right. two different two different yeah. wavelengths. Yeah. yeah, two different wavelengths. So there's benefits to that. So I, there's great benefits to red light therapy and blue light therapy, different light therapy. So that's that's going to be made mainly surface benefit. And if there's a specific frequency to those therapies. Um, PEMF is a whole other ball of wax. That's electrical frequencies. And there's huge benefits to that. And we, you know, push PEMF for people. Um, but the red light therapy, the light therapy like that, that's not going to be cancer killing PEMF is not going to be cancer killing. Um, You have to hit, you have to use the frequencies 
of the cancer itself. So there's known frequencies for different cancers. And it's not one. People think, I have prostate cancer. What's the prostate cancer frequency? Well, there's maybe 150 known frequencies to prostate cancer. You need to write a program where your machine is running all those different frequencies over a mm. period of time and rotating through those frequencies because you got to be able to stimulate that cancer at its frequency. So, um, and then prostate cancer frequencies are going to be different than breast cancer frequencies. So you you want to be running the right frequencies. And I know that some people go, I don't believe it there in, in frequencies. Well, you use your cell phone, right? You, you, you mm -hmm. open up your cell phone and you plug in a number. It sends that information via frequency up to, you know, a cell tower, you know, five miles away from you, beams it up via frequency to uh, a satellite, then via frequency down to another cell tower, via frequency to that other person's cell phone in, uh, in a, a minute part of a second. It's all, it's all from frequencies, you know? you know? Your electricity in your house is running via frequency, electrical frequency. Everything is frequency. You can't say that you don't believe in frequencies. You just don't understand them. So all our cells are vibrating at a frequency. And, uh, um, you know, the the healthier you are, the healthier cell vibration you have. That sounds very esoteric, but it is just physics. You don't have to get all new agey on it, you know. Um, but it's, it's just a matter of physics. If you can hit a cell at its own frequency, you're going to cause at the very least vibration and you're going to help clean out that cell. You're going to help stimulate an immune response to that cell. And that's going to bring health to that cell. Um, if it's a cancer cell, it could help your body kill that cell. There's just a lot of benefits to it. So when we're treating cancer patients, you're using light frequencies specific to that cancer. Mm. Um, if you're treating, let's say, a knee injury, then you could use electrical frequency with PEMF. That's going to be a totally different frequency and a different mode of frequency using electrical current that brings other benefits and healing and and uh, you know decrease inflammation and it gives the body a chance to be able to heal. And um, so there's different uses of different frequencies through different types of modalities. Yeah, that's a really good explanation. And so really the difference there with the rife is that it's actually helping target the cancer and and in a sense, almost like putting a like a like an alarm on the cancer for the immune system. So the so the immune system now can recognize it and target it as opposed to the cancer kind of hiding in the natural tissue of the body. Yes. So you're getting the cancer, you're getting the immune system to take another and another and another and another and another look at it so yeah. it will attack if the person is laying in a hospital bed and their immune system is like completely shot um the rife is not going to be this magic tool that's going to bring them back to mm -hmm. life because you got to um, have a if, you got to have an immune response yeah you have to have an immune response um so you know to to couple the rife with other therapies, other mm -hmm. nutritional approaches. You know, you're talking about fasting and, yeah. and 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 cleaning out the body to couple the rife with as many other facets of uh, uh, to stimulate a health healing response is going to be a person's best approach.